From the Toyota Prius to the Tesla Model Y, electric vehicles have been on the market for over 25 years. But there's one place we've yet to see them, and that's in the personal watercraft market. Hi, I'm Jeff Hamill from Boating Magazine, and that all changed this summer with the introduction of the Taiga Orca. This is the first mass-produced electric PWC from the same manufacturer that brought us the first electric snowmobile. It has zero noise, zero emissions, and zero smell. But as you'll see soon, it's got a lot of fun. Join me back at the beach and let's go over some of the features of this really cool new boat for 2024. Now the first obvious question that's on everybody's mind is the electric motor. Taiga uses a 120 kilowatt electric motor. It's paired to a direct drive jet pump and uses a sealed lithium ion battery. The end result out on the water is during average runtime, you've got about two hours of time to have fun, mixing up some idle time, some play time, and some high speed runs. Riders can tailor that performance by choosing a variety of run modes. The first range limits the motor to 40 kilowatts and gives you the longest run time. Sport limits the motor to 70 kilowatts and gives you a nice balance of performance and efficiency. If you really want to cut loose, Wild mode gives you the full 120 kilowatts that this motor offers. That gives you really impressive performance out of the hull and a top speed of about 62 miles an hour. Current electric vehicle owners are probably well aware of the multitude of charging options available across the country and probably have one in their own home. For those that don't, the Orca comes with a level one charger that just uses common 110 volt household current. A level two charger shortens that time to only 3.5 hours. And a level three charger, like you'll commonly find in rest stops and convenience stores, will shorten time even further, as short as 30 to 40 minutes. The battery is fully sealed so that you don't have to worry about vibration or water intrusion, even in salt water. This boat also uses closed loop cooling. It circulates that cooling through the ride plate it keeps both the motor and the battery at a nice cool temperature and you don't have to worry about any outside contaminants, which means at the end of the day, no worries about flushing. The Orca's composite hull is also tough and durable and unlike fiberglass, we'll be able to bump up against the dock without any splintering and cracking. Now let's talk about the ride. That battery is placed low in the hull and that really lowers the center of gravity of this boat. The result is great agility out on the water. It's got a little bit of a loose, playful feel, but trimmed down and you can really plant the bow and make a nice sharp turn. Electric trim allows you to further enhance the ride, raising the bow for speed or lowering it when you really want to dig in in those corners. As to the top speed, it's pretty impressive, 62 miles an hour during my test run. As to forward, neutral, and reverse, Orca makes it as simple as the throttle for forward on the right-hand grip, a reverse lever on the left-hand grip, and if you release both levers, the boat immediately goes into neutral. And as the Orca is electric, that response is instantaneous at the pump. Another interesting feature is you don't have a reverse bucket. As the Orca is electric, you can actually spin the drive shaft in reverse. Now that's something we haven't seen on other personal watercraft. As to extras, you've got an 8.9 gallon storage compartment in the bow, a spot for your phone in the glove box, and when it comes to keeping tabs on everything, you have this nice seven inch display. I can see what mode I'm in, I can see speed and RPM, and one of the key things on an electric battery is I can see the percentage, so I know how much power I have left for the day. One of the coolest features here though, is that this boat also has Wi-Fi and cellular connectivity. That way if there's a software update for maintenance or maybe even to make the engine produce a little bit more power, Orca can push it right to your boat. It's pretty much just like plugging in your iPhone. As you can see, Taiga packs a lot of innovation into the Orca performance, but I think the thing I like best is they still haven't forgotten that personal watercraft riding is all about fun. I'm Jeff Hemmel from Boating Magazine, and I see plenty of charge left on this battery. I think it's time to go have some fun of my own. Yeah!